All right, folks, today is Monday, December 9th, 2019, and I'm about to put this whole car in 2K primer. So hopefully it's the last time you're gonna see all this breakthrough and stuff. I just waxed and greased it right now. I washed it yesterday with regular uh, dish, dish soap. Let it sit overnight so it's good and dry, and then I blew it off because I left it outside and then uh, I waxed and greased it right now. So what I'm gonna be using is this uh, SPI 2K high build. It's good stuff. Sands are really easy. I really like the way 400 grit sands with it. Um, got probably half a gallon in there. Probably gonna end up using, I don't know, probably half a gallon to put this thing in. I want two coats. This is a dash, firewall, door jams. Everything's gonna be uniform when I'm done. Trunk hinges, trunk gutter, all that. Let's see. It is. 80 degrees and almost 70 percent humidity and it's it's the beginning of december so it's a little different some of you guys watching might be freezing um but it's supposed to get cold tonight it's supposed to have a cold front so i really want to get this done today while it's warm it's supposed to be 40 degrees tonight so i'm gonna get this done quickly so it can cure and flash off hopefully before it gets too cold and then uh then we're going to be doing some work. Uh, we're going to be replacing the trunk pan here, center trunk pan, uh, Raptor. Got a box brace, got to fix, but uh, that's later down the road. So I'll bring you guys back once this thing is in uh, 2K high build. All right, today is uh, Sunday, December 15th, 2019. I wanted to do a little update video on the 62. Uh, yesterday we put in about, um, about six hours. Um, wire wheeled the door, both door jams, um, and got him in epoxy, two coats. Um, we mainly focused around the jam area. Um, and not so much over here, we just kind of just sprayed that didn't worry about the window crank but everything's clean um, wire wheel on the grinder I found works best than the Rolock I don't know why the epoxy did that it was an older batch so I don't know maybe we coat that um, so we got the doors done yesterday I'm gonna flip them over today do some body work on them um, probably have to do some more epoxy uh, found a found a pretty good dent so I'm going to take y'all next door and look at the floor on the 62. So yesterday I had my buddy with the red rocket come over and do some metal work. Put a new trunk pan in, welded it, seam sealed it. Uh, we replaced, well he replaced this box brace cage nut. The cage nut was, I had to cut it out whenever we took it off the frame. So he patched it up, did a good job on that. Had to fix fix one of these floor braces. This thing was so, in so much of a bind, it wasn't. It was about two inches off of touching the floor pan. So he had to drill a hole, bolt it in to pull it there, and then spot weld it. So we started cleaning the the underside wire wheeling. I'm gonna do more of that today. In fact, I think half of it's done. We're gonna do the top half, um, and then I'm gonna epoxy it and. Uh, get it ready for Raptor. I mean, after epoxy, it will be ready for Raptor. So that's today's project is get this floor cleaned. I'm gonna work on the doors, bring y'all back once, uh, once that's done. All right, so we're back. I've been working on these doors for a couple hours. And uh, man, so, so we blocked it originally, and then we sprayed the Superbuild Poly Primer. I blocked that with 80, and then I 2K'd the doors and then I blocked the 2K with 180, thinking we're getting closer to paint. So when I went to go wash them off, um, whenever we did the, the jams, 
uh, I didn't like the way the reflection of the water looked on the door and it had just a big a big dip there so unfortunately had to rework that um, as you can see it's a big dip um, and upon further investigation you can see maybe not you can see where there was a dent there that's been pulled right on that spot same thing over here you can see you can see the holes there that they that they drilled out and used a dent puller on it's exactly where the dip is so hopefully i got it down pretty good i'm about to i'm about to go ahead and seal this off in, in some epoxy and then 2k it again and start the process so it's it it a little setback but but we're back on it so i'm just going to spray some two uh i'm sorry some unreduced epoxy just to seal all this stuff off so it doesn't bleed black through and then um let that let that cure see how long maybe i can get it in 2k today or not we'll see it's about it's pretty warm about 80 about 85 60 percent humidity i did get me a new exhaust fan got that at tractor supply for 200 bucks 3000 cfm yeah, it works better than the box fan, but with both of them going, it actually is not bad at all in here. So, go ahead and shoot these things real quick. Bring y'all back. this thing in two coats of the SPI epoxy black. What you think, Bobo? Good. Yeah? A lot of hours with the wire wheel pretty good so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to raptor it all the way up to to the uh, past the tow board um, so all that's going to be raptor not sure what color yet so in all this car got a new trunk pan welded in box brace repaired and f floor pans uh, well I didn't do the floor pans but we, we did some brace work here floor pans were done by somebody else I don't know who so Looking pretty good. Uh, we mixed the epoxy one to one as usual, sprayed it about 25 PSI, two coats. This was about 50, 50 ounces. Not as heavy in the wheel well, but mainly on the floors. So we'll bring y'all back once we decide what color and get this thing in Raptor.